Well, Chirpy warned me that my new toy probably wasn't going to be too much, too useful for doing a bit of uh, glass bead blasting of bronze castings to prepare them for patina. But a little compressor is better than no compressor, and I'm on a hobbyist budget here, so let's see if I can make some work here. Uh, got my little hack together blaster gun here. Let's see what Well, I'm not saying Chirpy was wrong, but I did manage to uh, get this thing blasted and patinaed. Unfortunately, I lost the rest of the footage of that. Um, what he actually had told me was it'd probably work, but it would take a long time and many bad words. And uh, he was right about that, as I found out when I did this one. I'm going to try it again on this one. I used these diamond coated bits in my Dremel to kind of polish up the uh, rough spots on the highlight edges. A little bit of the sandy texture on the teeth. I got to kind of tone down a bit. So uh, unfortunately I lost the footage of applying the patina to this one, which is the next step. So now we're going to go outside and Apply some liver of sulfur patina. Well, here's the stuff the uh, liver of sulfur. Warnings, 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 warnings. I'll keep it in here to keep it, uh, keep it sealed up as well as possible because this stuff doesn't last forever. Apparently, it's, it's good to eat that I got the. Uh, Got it in the lump form because the liquid stuff will go bad on you in a hurry. Maybe it's supposed to be more yellow and less beigey. I don't know. It smells like rotten eggs. Um, does seem to work. And uh, there you go wash my hands when I'm done with all this. Alright. This is hot water. This is a pea-sized lump of liver of sulfur. Together, they stink like, what do you call it, rotten eggs. I don't know if it's supposed to turn cloudy like this. I don't know, the stuff I got was kind of brownish, and I read somewhere it's, it's supposed to be kind of more bright yellow. Ugh, it really still reeks like raw eggs though. Uh, that's probably like good enough, I guess. Let's set this down here, where it's handy.
covered the whole thing with this liver and sulfur patina now. Though the camera kind of crapped out on me partway through shooting that footage. I'm not having much luck with that. In any case, um, next step is to buff some of the highlights back into it so you can kind of see that bronze metal color shining through. Um, again, this is very rudimentary attempt at kind of sort of a patina. We'll see how it works out. All right, let's see what we can do here. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. I might scrub it a little more. But it's looking good. It's awesome. Yeah. Happy with it. Yeah, you can kind of tell where I was going at it with that diamond stuff. It's, it's a little bit smoother than it is around, but it's better than having mold lines, I think. I could have I could have done a little better job repairing these teeth. Anyway, liver of sulfur patina. Now, it should be said that uh Patination is an art form, and uh, a true patinaire would would laugh at calling this a patina. But uh, yeah, it's a start, and uh, you know, once I get a some kind of clear coat on it, I think it'll look pretty darn good. All right, let's see what we can get out of this. So this I'll start with the back. It's just this whole thing. A little nerve wracking. That's the back anyway. I don't know if I'm going to do that on the front.
Wow. Look at that. What a change. Now, I don't know what I'm going to end up doing with this. If it ends up at somebody's place that's a smoker, do I want to... I don't think I want to use a spray polyurethane like I did on the belt buckle to finish it off. Um, but what you would normally use would be wax, but I'm not even sure. Like People are button out cigars on it or something. What's that going to do if it's got a wax coating? I have to think about it a little bit. Uh, yeah. I may keep on uh, keep on doing a little more work on these highlights. But uh, I'm not going to... kind of awkward to do the whole thing with the, with the camera running and half in my way, so... I'll come back in a bit when I decide how I'm going to seal this thing up and uh, we'll have another look then. Wow, must say, that worked a lot, looks a lot nicer than I thought it would, tea light candle, I mean, I have to wait for it to fully cool, but I'm thinking this looks pretty darn good, alright, thanks for watching.